So now we're going to talk about autonomic groups. You should already know uh, how to configure a CPG, how to create a volume, and how to export that volume to the host. Um, but a way to help simplify storage management is through autonomic groups. Uh, essentially what this is, is a grouping of hosts into a host set and a grouping of volumes into a volume set. Now let's think for a second about what a use case for that would be. A use case would be if you had an ESX cluster or a Zen server cluster or a Hyper-V cluster. Um, if you had any kind of Windows cluster, Oracle, uh, rack environment, you wanted to ensure that all the volumes always got exported to all of those hosts um, at the same time and uh, at, the, at you know, the same volumes to just to ensure consistency, right? So we're going to go through, we're going to create a host set and then I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create a volume set and then assign that volume set to the host set. And uh, we'll dive a little bit deeper into that as we go along. Okay, so I'm connected to uh, a three par. This is one that I've connected to previously. And I'm going to go to provisioning. This is the first step. And I need to create uh, a CPG. And this is going to be on fast class, uh, we'll say RAID 5 for grins, uh, 3 plus 1. All right. So now I've got a CPG in here. All right, right here. Great, there's nothing in it yet. All right, I'm not going to create more than one CPG because the, the you know, provisioning isn't necessarily the, the goal of this video, the autonomic uh, management is. So I'm just going to use this one CPG for that. Okay. So I'm going to jump right into host sets. I'm going to select hosts. Um, if I go here, I can look at what host sets are already in there. And we're just going to create um, another host set. And I'm just going to give it a name like every other step uh, through process using the three-part management console. We'll say uh, demo uh, ESXi. All right. So essentially, this is just going to be like if you were creating an ESXi farm. All right. So I'm going to click next, and then here's it's pretty easy. I can just go through and grab, you know, a couple of hosts that I want to to be in here. So let's say this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, yeah. And so I've got four hosts. They all have paths to my storage. Um, they're not associated to a domain. When I click next, I can get my summary. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these four hosts and I'm going to put them into a host set that's going to be um, named Demo ESXi. There it is. And we can see the, the hosts that are associated to this host set. right? And there's no volumes exported to it. See the hosts individually, get their information. And again, this is just for a demo, so I don't really care what these hosts are. All right, so now we've got a host set. Great. Next step, let's configure that uh, uh, volume set. All right, so just like with everything else, I, I need to create the CPG, which we did a second ago. I'm going to create a uh, virtual volume. All right, so demo data store. They're going to be two terabytes in size. I'm going to pick that demo CPG that we configured. I'm not going to worry about uh, copy space for this purpose. And then here I'm going to give it a grouping number. Or how many of these volumes do I want to create? So for this particular demo I'm just going to create five. All right, so we're going to create five volumes. The set name is going to be Demo Data Store. And the volume names themselves will be uh, appended with a .0, .1, .2, .3, .4. Okay, so we'll just click finish to get that done. And then when I go to my uh, unexported uh, virtual volumes, we'll see here's the data stores that I was just talking about, right? So we created five volumes just as quickly and just as easily. See, they're all two terabytes in size as if we created one. But here's the cool thing I go to virtual volume sets, and here it is. All five have been created. Well, here's all the virtual volumes that are associated to this one set. Right? There's no hosts or anything that's, that's associated to it right now. No space has been allocated to it. 
All right, but now I'm going to export this, this virtual volume set to my host set, and it's going to use these LUNs, five, these LUN IDs, five through nine, when it exports to that host set. All right, finish. And then when it's done, we'll see that it's exported. We'll take a second because my uh, my connection's slow, and you can see right here. Maybe you can see it. In the last demo you couldn't see it, but there's like a little arrow, and it goes green when you click refresh. See like that, and then it's supposed to pull in the data. So I, I can also go to export it here, and then when I go to uh, look at my individual volumes, it still aren't showing up. It's still refreshing. Uh, it'll list all the volumes plus that they're associated to a um, to the host, yeah, to the host set that it's associated with. So it popped in, finally it got refreshed, and we can see here's the five volumes. They're all associated to this data store set, and they're all exported to these hosts individually, which comprise of this host set. All right. So now we've got five volumes exported to the host set. Pretty simple. But let's say you want to add a host. You got a new host. You need to add it. I'm going to add to finish. Okay, so now I've just added two hosts. Great. Now do I need to represent that those volumes to that host? Let me refresh again. Voila. So it takes a second, but you can see it popped in here. Here's the the two hosts that I added. So now all five of these volumes have been exported to the original hosts that were in the host set plus the two that I just added. Right? So again, it makes it easy. And then if I needed to add volumes to my volume set, I can do it individually. Just giving it a name here. See, um, 500 gig. Uh, we'll do the demo CPG again. It could be anything. Whoops, I forgot to add it. So here's the set name. So I can go to my data store. It's going to export it to that set name right here finish so when I go to my now you can see there's six LUNs here there's the one I just created and if I go to the host sets again you can see that there's six volumes here's all the virtual volumes that are associated and here's all the hosts that are associated to that volume set really simplifies storage management so there you go, autonomic groups, host sets and volume sets.